which we're going to do because I'm going to show you why. So now that we have all of these options, one thing we found, something we expected, is this. Now, even if this were to be maximized, it's awfully difficult to read. Uh, I think actually this completely broke it, but it'd probably be okay. No, it's just my wife had this stuff half in Italian, half in English, but anyway. So this is totally unusable. Um, I don't know. Ah, it's just in free aspect. I think it's supposed to do. There you go. So we have these tiny little buttons. That's absurd. Uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to use the same logic as this. And I'm just going to implement it over there. So it will. This should be fairly quick to do. <laughs> Excuse me. All right. So database items, uh, and let's see. So we got a scroll view, viewport, and content, and sliding area, etc., etc., etc. All right. So we want to duplicate this and just drag it into groceries, and then we're going to hide the added database. Well, this is not hiding anything; just turn it off. But anyway, there you go. <clears throat> so list. All right list and database item items <coughs> preferred height the list has a preferred width of 10,000 so I'm going to say preferred width of 10,000 just like that and the list has a list title and buttons etc now that's fine it's the list buttons that needs to change so, uh, it's got a preferred height of 20,000, so never you mind, I was wrong. So, preferred height of 20,000. In list buttons, this is a list BG. I'm going to just quickly take a look because list BG, there's the list container. So, that should be fairly easy actually. So, all I gotta do is I got to delete list buttons, put database item in the middle, list buttons, and scroll view is fine, viewport, etc. content. Now, app manager should complain that something's missing. And now it's not missing anymore. It should literally be as simple as this. Now, what we're going to do though is we're going to change the colors, the color scheme of this, just to make sure it's very obvious that this is a different thing. Uh, viewport content, scroll bar vertical. Hmm. Yeah, let's go with this dark green. It's okay. And then the scroll bar itself being a lighter yet dark green. Okay, so I'm just going to try right away and see if this is going to work immediately. So let's load the previous list. Okay, so stuff is strange. I suspect it may have something to do with the buttons. We can see that there's a button here. I don't even know what it is. But something is going on there. Yeah, it's all quite broken. Uh, well, obviously, first of all, I need to modify that stuff. Let's see if it's this thing. It is. Okay, so <clears throat> text. This one. Simply change the color of the text to white. That should help immediately. At least we need to understand what's going on. Uh, it may be that they all have a minimum or whatever. So load previous list. There we go. So we can see all of the things. Uh, I'm confused as to why everything is squeezing like crazy. Because the content shouldn't... Oh, hello. Huh. The problem is the grid layout group. We need a vertical layout group. Um... Hmm. Yeah, well, phone's ringing. I can't pick up now. So there you go. 
Uh, da, 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 with an, no, don't control the height. And don't force the child expansion, I think. So there should be something I can relate to here for the scroll bar vertical of uh, in the list of done. So scroll view viewport content. Content has vertical layout group. Yeah, child force expand height. Interesting. I would have thought that that's wrong. But okay. Uh, perhaps that means it going backwards, so let's click it. All right, now let's test again. See what we get. Make the list, load previous list. Still sucks. It is better. Without question, it is better. But it's still not good enough. I'm not really sure I understand why. Hmm. Let's go take a look. So, oh, I see. The problem is the list category which in and of itself then contains things. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, I wanna change that. Cause if I could do just these things over here and not the list category and then these things over here. Oh, bummer. Yeah, text title and then these, even if they go in a different order, I don't particularly care. Let's just at least see if this is indeed behaving the way it's supposed to. That's fairly realistic, with the exception that they won't be in the right order, but that's okay. Not a big deal. All right, let's drag them all out and then we can observe the situation because yeah, that's that's going to be the issue, I think. Okay, this still sucks. Hmm, let me see. So text title, do we have a layout element? I don't think so, do we have a layout element? We have a horizontal layout group, but not a layout element. Hmm. Uh, I want to see if the list there on the right. So all of these buttons over here. <clears throat> Daddy list button. No, I don't see anything. No. And no, no layout element at all. Interesting. Well, anyway, we know that we should change the way that behaves. So list category, we're going to open this. Aha, uh -huh, it's got a text title. Um, hmm. We should change this drastically. So something like text, list, title, and then the item. Yeah. So let's rename this one to text list ca sure, category, actually. That's fine, I suppose. So now text list cat list category. That's it, is it? I'm a bit confused. Oh no, see it contains a text title. That's not what I want. Um, it's got a vertical layout group. I'm going to remove that. Grocery list category. I'm probably going to remove that. Okay, this is going to cost, cause, cause me some pain, I think. What does it do? With a bit of luck, it's totally empty. Or like, you know, almost empty. Hey, totally empty. Perfect. So I must have probably used it for something. So we're going to delete this completely. And now it will rebuild the solution and we're going to get some errors and those are perfectly fine. So copy component, uh, remove component, paste component is new. So we get the text and we can leave the rest alone. Uh, maybe the color can go yellow like the rest and now we can completely delete this guy 
There we go. The rest is fine. Now we need to go and take a look. Clear grocery list display. Okay, grocery list category GLC in list containers get component in children. All right, I can see the problem. So, get components in children is not going to be particularly helpful. We need to figure out how we um, update the grocery list display. There it is. Okay. Instantiate. Okay, so here we go through. Huh? Category template. Transform text title get component text match pro set text. So it's going to be without the find set text and then for in blah 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 instantiate blah blah blah. That's all fine. Now instead of in it becoming a child of the container, I'm going to change this from container to something else. So I'm gonna call it text mesh pro. We'll call it TM title or category name. There you go. Let's do that. Category -gory name. All right. So category name is going to be instantiate blah blah blah. Instead of that dot transform, we're going to say dot get component. And we can then cut this. And we can say TM category name set text key. And then for blah 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 and it's going to be the list container again so basically as simple as that so we do have an item and we do set it up on the other side we just have some text huh. so yeah if we had a list category item like before but make, make it a little easier to delete them the alternative is to simply add them and save them and I think that's what we're gonna do so I'm gonna create a private list of uh, text mesh pro ugui I guess and let's call them now I'll tell you what private list game object uh, and let's call them list uh, list objects there we go so every time we update this there's a clear grocery list display and in clear grocery list display we're gonna say four well first we're gonna check if this list is null because if it is then we need to say that this is a new list and then we're gonna go through the list uh, not this way. We need to go backwards. So I'm going to type F O R R tab tab. So we have a backwards list dot count. So it's you see it starts from the count minus one, goes down all the way until I goes down all the way until I is higher or equal to zero. That makes perfect sense. So here we're going to check if whoopsie daisies if list objects I is not null. So if this thing exists, we're going to destroy list objects i and then finally we can clear uh, not the category container but the list object there we go all right so that's good and now what we could do here is i i'm going to get rid of this again we've cleared that and i'm going to say this list objects dot add and i'm going to say instantiate this entire thing don't get any component close then I'm gonna say dot get component measure set text and I'm gonna say list objects list objects dot count minus one so the last object I've just added I'm going to <coughs> do that to it and then down here I'm going to say list objects dot add instantiate this thing and then I'm going to say list object the last one get component set up item and there we go that should do so let's take a look if we're getting a slightly better result uh, 
Okay, that looks worse, but it's better. Uh, it's a heck of a lot better. Now let's try and see why we're getting this problem. So the text doesn't have anything. This one simply, I think, has a wrong height by default. Yeah, so what I need to do is go to my prefab, that's my bet, and give it a height. So item uh, let's do that height 100 or something let's try I don't know if this is gonna work it is and that is a heck of a lot more readable for my wife uh, not too happy about this but I think it's kind of okay I'm also not too happy how close this is to that bar uh, but I don't know what the problem is so let's take a look here content uh -huh. I see uh, the content should have a bit of room from the right like 10 there that's much better okay so let's immediately tell this that from the right we get a bit of room uh, in fact I'm also going to go and do it in this list because I know the same problem applies uh, I'm not going to do it to the ones that have cells because those work differently okay load previous list all right I like this what I don't like now is how close these are so I'd like to add a spacer at the end of some sort a spacer is just an empty thing so it should work just fine frankly um, so let's try and see if I can do it right here I'm just going to say add instantiate spacer uh, daddy list spacer let's use that vector 3 0 Quaternion, oopsie daisies. Quaternion identity list container. There we go. Let's add one more. Because we're now going and deleting the game objects, we don't particularly care what components they have. Okay, so the spacer must be there, but it probably is minuscule. Same problem as before. We need some kind of um, uh, thingamajig. Now, I'm not too keen on using this. Well, I don't actually know. I think it'll be okay. So if I give it size 20, for example, in height, because I think read the list will just adapt itself, so there's no risk. Yeah, that's correct. Whereas make the list will keep that information. Yeah, that's much better. Um, I would also like it to to be a bit more spacious down so I'm going to add one after and one before like this okay test again and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hey Oh, <laughs> whoops. Because yeah, that's me looking for a text that doesn't exist inside the spacer. Well, since I'm here, I want this item to have a smaller height, like 75. Hello, ladies, what's up? I'm recording a video that's also going to go to uh, YouTube. Actually, I forgot to record, so I'm going to have to download my own video. Isn't that lovely? <sighs> All right, that's looking much better now. The wife is going to be happy. Uh, still not too happy about this sort of inconsistency in room here. Hardcover for if cheap. But it looks like we have plenty of room. So let's go and edit our item. Take our note. And give it a larger minimum width. 
something like 300. And then let's test again. Whoop, whoop. Ah, uh, isn't that lovely? Okay, that's better. Now, we're going to do the same for all of these guys too. So I'm going to have this similar container over here and over here. Because it's going to be that much easier for everything to be under control that way. Alright. So, let's see. Here we have item, item buttons, same concept really. And categories, category buttons. Well, that's easy enough. Let's delete this, delete this, duplicate this, drag it in here, duplicate it, drag it in here, and call this one item buttons, and call this one category buttons. Except the object that's going to be the container is the content here. So category container, content, item container con oopsie daisies I've overwritten the wrong one that's kind of annoying that I call them content uh, but I think I'm gonna stick with it for now all right so let's see if this all works I don't see why I wouldn't I mean there could be aha there we go so they're now all together like this let's say I choose fruit now fruit does have a bit of a problem uh, the text is too large and that's fine I'll, I'll fix that in a second this bar is a bit thick as well it's like a big bar that's okay whatever makes you happy so yeah let's huh blackberries was invisible who knew Yes, okay, so let's fix it so that the texts do fit. Uh, I think it may be under button, probably. Uh, or maybe not, actually. I'm not really sure. Daddy list battle, hideable row. That's the one. So, button main, text, font size 36. Let's do font size 32. Let's do font size 28. So this button have font size 30 whatever yeah so 28 okay let's see what we get okay this is more elegant in my opinion this is looking pretty good and load previous list there we go cool Okay, so that's looking way more elegant than before. I'm not sure I dig the background. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, I don't know. I think it's fine. Fine in it. Yeah, it's all good. Uh, let's do the edit database, read the list. All right, now let's do the last modification for UX purposes. I want to modify this list. I like that it's in two by two by two by two. I think that's fine. Uh, what I don't like is that this list is on its side because when I'm using it on the phone, I prefer to have a uh, portrait mode. Uh, and um, this is basically inherently designed for landscape so all I'm going to do is I'm going to put this horizontal and this vertical and that's that uh, I might also I might also not do anything else the problem is the app applies to both machines oh man it needs to be done on PC as well as not. Yeah, I should probably have a completely separate app for that. 
Do you know that's entirely possible? But it's a bit it's a bit of a faff. But it is entirely possible. I could make an app that only reads the list, and I could make a ma na map bleh, an app that only writes the list. So this is the app that writes the list, and we could build an app that only reads the list. Why did I not think of this before? Seems to me like it would make a lot of sense. Huh. Well, okay, let's begin doing that. We can close this. Uh, da, da, da. Game development projects, probably Zoe. Nope, never mind, it's not here. Zoe projects, that's it. Grocery list. Okay, so let's copy in pasta grocery list. And we're going to create a new one called grocery reader. I'm copying the entire project because it makes absolute sense to just proceed from here. Frankly. Everything is essentially going to remain identical. With the exception that there's only the access to read the list, which means there's no need for us to uh, have a button for it. We go straight there. So grocery reader. Okay, that's what we're going to name it. So we're going to go to assets, scenes, and open main. Uh, really rubbish. Okay, so let's tell this guy to uh, add a project. Uh, Zoe Projects, Grocery Reader, Select Folder, Grocery Reader. Sure, same version's fine. Let's open it. <clears throat> okay, so yeah, we got plenty of time. I think I can do this in half an hour. All right, now for this one, I'm only uh, I'm not gonna need pop ups, I'm not going to need uh, edit database, I'm not needing groceries or main, I'm going to need list, and that's that. And let's immediately show it. Now, I'm also going to tell the game that the default aspect I want is, say, this, for example. Something like that. Something like this. That's good enough. Um, and uh, obviously, there's going to be errors and all sorts of stuff, but that's okay. We'll fix them in a moment. So, first, file, prod, edit project settings. So, the name of the project. Uh, default company, fair enough. Grocery reader, fair enough. <laughs> I guess I left everything on default. That's good. Uh, we could go to net 4x, to be honest, but whatever. Uh, we can leave it there too. Now, preset manager, no, what was I gonna look? Quality, maybe. There is a way to tell you what the default resolution is. I can't quite remember what that is. Huh? Let's do it in the canvas. So reference re resolution, I'm gonna do, uh, I have an iPhone 6, I think. And I'm the one using this, so iPhone 6 resolution. There you go, the ultimate guide to iPhone resolution. Sounds good enough to me. Do, 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 6, okay. So 12, whatever, that doesn't make any sense at all. Okay, points are abstract units, so 414736, 414736. Yeah, so now obviously all sorts of stuff is wrong, but whatever, I don't even particularly care that things are all Bonkers, it's fine. Uh, except I probably want this higher resolution in general. So I have less to worry about. Okay. Good. Now, in the list, instead of it being a horizontal layout group, 
it's going to be a vertical layout group. And uh, I forgot to tell it this and this. Perfect. Now this will have a layout element with a preferred height of 20 grand. And done, we'll have a minimum height of Three hundred, something along these lines. There's a bit of room, nothing excessive. I think that's acceptable. Um, and now we need to go and modify the code so that it works for this alone. Now there's a lot of modules in here that I don't need, and that's okay. I'm just going to leave them alone. You know, I'm not going to, I'm not going to do anything in particular for this. Oh, right. We have never opened these, therefore it's not working. So we're going to go to scripts, select them all and hit enter. Oh boy. One second. I got the secret data. No, no. Okay, good. Close the secret data. There. No more secret data. <laughs> not that it's a big deal to be honest, but anyway, so that's all good. This is all good. None of this changes. Everything is fine. The only thing we're interested in is the app manager. So this is the 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 one that needs to make a decision when it starts. So instead of app state main, uh, hmm, we are going to wait. Now uh, there are some changes I need to make though, for the screens, for example. Screens. This one needs to go. So perhaps I should have two screens. No, 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 let's let's go and create a new screen. We're gonna create a new screen. Uh, this one we're gonna call one list list, and then we're gonna create a new screen, which I'm gonna call zero main. And in main, uh, I'm gonna close this. In main, um, I'm going to say it fits everything. And um, I've deleted everything because I'm a bit of a potato. Can I copy from one project to another? Maybe. Let's open grocery list. Let's see if I can do it. I can't remember if I can do it. Oh, I'd be able to do it. I can certainly copy prefabs from one to the other. So, but anyway, so main, let's see if I can copy. Pasta. No. Rubbish. Okay. So we're going to take a bit of a different approach. I'm going to add it to prefabs. Show in Explorer. Copy these two. Or rather, drag these two. Other project. Prefabs. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Fact. Whoa, undo. Zero main, uh, unpack prefab completely, delete the prefab. So not exactly elegant, but hey, it worked. Uh, wait, first unpack prefab completely, then delete the prefab. Save, close. Okay, so now all we gotta do is just leave the button read the list. That's it. And instead of title groceries app, I'm going to put groceries reader app. There you go. Uh, hmm, I wonder if that text gets changed. Well, we'll find out. So uh, let's do some cleaning up just in case. So I'm going to clean these and I'm going to remove these and this. And I'm going to clear these too. Perfect. And uh, the app manager is going to be very sad because it's missing a bunch of stuff. And that's kind of fine. So main goes over here. Uh, list goes over here. Two. Now I need to go and modify the screen status. Scissors, which is main and list. These are the only two. There's no grocery state. There's no edit database state. Yep, 
Yeah, so everything that has to do with database editing doesn't exist. Uh, load latest doesn't exist. I, essentially, I don't have any other items that the daddy item already got. Back to menu isn't there. Read the list. That's the only ones I need. Everything else goes away. All right, so let's go to button function and leave read the list. Daddy item already got. That's it. So don't set up groceries main buttons. It doesn't exist. Uh, none of these. Set up hideable row. We don't need hideable row at all. Let me go and delete it. Yeah, I'm just going to do this a bit more properly. No need for pop-up, no need for pop-up manager. Uh, database we do need, custom button we do need, app manager we do need, item. I don't think we need that. We also don't need the save manager. Uh, we kind of do for loading. Secret detail we do need. So item, I don't think we need item, so I'm going to delete that too. There's no hideable rows. So the entire groceries goes away. The entire edit database goes away. Okay, so update grocery list display. All of the groceries, wham, the entire region. That's why regions are nice. Because that way you're helping yourself be a lot faster when you're doing all of this work. There you go. See, I already have no errors. I mean, I may have some here. Item. Item, item, parent. I may have some calls for this. Let's hope. Show hide item, show hide category. These don't exist. What the heck? Why was that even there? Oh, I see. To decide if something is hideable or showable or whatnot. Okay. There. So this should work immediately. There is only one change I need to make, which is change state in start main. Okay. Good. No, no change I need to make. So let's see now. Let's see if this is going to work. Boink, I've got an LRF. All right, so I must have um, forgotten to add these. Not a big deal. So TM status, that's the one. And read the list button, that's the one. Daddy list containers, those are fine. Everything's fine. Play. There you go. Initialization complete. Grocery reader app, read the list. Etc. Now there's a problem. I have. I think my it's stupid for it. Yeah, it's stupid for it to be a cell, uh, a sort of a grid display. So let's fix it. The to do list, scroll view, viewport, content. Remove the grid layout group. Add a vertical layout group, which controls the width and nothing else. So this should now be identical to this. Content size twister and constraint. Yeah, so now they should be absolutely identical. Except move down. Thanks. All right, yeah, that's good. Um, there is a problem. Um, it will be in populate submitted list. There's this counter over two where I'm basically adding empty spaces and I don't think I need that. Let's see. 
Uh, in fact, the counter is entirely pointless now. I don't care about that counter. Let's see. Okay, not bad, with exception that the titles are awfully difficult to read. Unless I've deleted the actual titles, which would... No, it's not the case. I just think they come without... In the prefab, they don't have a certain size. Uh, daddy list button, daddy list title, give it a height of 50. Okay, now the only thing that kind of sucks, I don't like it, is that there's no room. So I'd like to add a spacer in front, assuming we are on at least the second um the second list so we're we're going to add a counter because this is for each so I can't do anything int counter equals zero and here at the end I'm saying I'm gonna say counter plus plus uh huh if counter is lower than daddy list dot count uh, probably minus one no yes no so if it's lower than the count then I'm going to add a spacer oh and I think that the spacer is kind of missing whatever I don't know it's probably just very very small but that's okay aha I much prefer this this is much neater and it didn't add the last one at all that's good so the only one more change I want to do is I want to tell this content that it's 10 from the right can I even do that Huh, I cannot remember. Yeah, I think so. So content 10 from the right. That doesn't look like it's moving it, but I'm not sure. Oh no, it is. Perfect. Uh, I'm gonna do 20 instead of 10. That's right. Uh-huh. Perfect. And I am much happier now. Yeah. So you can keep adding all of the stuff you're putting away. I've picked up all of this and 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 oranges and bananas and apples and canvas and notebook. And now I can just scroll down here and see the entire list of things. It's kind of a bit of a, a bit meh that these lists remain up there as opposed to coming down. But in the end of the day, it's not, not a huge deal. There we go. And I think this is going to be much easier for me to use uh, while I'm in the store. Cool. I think this will conclude this particular episode. Uh... Unless I've broken something, obviously this needs to be tested on the phone, etc, etc. But thanks for watching. I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.